Screening for suicidal ideation does not require a lot of time, but it does require some sensitivity. In the following video, you can see that the physician asks all the right questions, but does so in such a way that he does not detect what is going on. Well, it looks like your health has been pretty good. I see you're a volleyball player. Any problem with pain in your muscles or joints? No, swimming is good for that. Okay, and uh, your allergies, how are they? I get runny eyes now and then, but the play game helps. Well, you look like something's bothering you. How are you doing emotionally? Any depression? Well, no. No, any suicide thoughts? Anything like that? No. Are you using any drugs? Of course not. Okay, well, I just want to make sure. Oh, wait, hold on. In this second scene, the physician is much more sensitive, but he makes another common error, that is, moving too quickly to reassure the patient. Okay. Marcy, let me ask you some questions about your feelings. How are you feeling most of the time? Okay, I guess. Well, you look a little down. Are you feeling sad about anything? Sometimes. It's no big deal. There's just a lot of drama at school. Can you tell me about it? Well, sort of silly. I was doing really well in volleyball, and then I just hit a slump. A couple of games, I missed easy shots. I cost us a game, and we might not go to regionals. I overheard a couple of other girls talking, and I think they said I blew the team's chances of going to state. Well, volleyball's a team sport. No one person is responsible for a loss. You shouldn't beat yourself up about it. I know. That's what my mom says. Well, you know, volleyball season will be over soon. Everyone will forget about it, and next year you can make a fresh start. You're right. I need to focus on grades. No, oh, I agree. That's important for college these days. In this final scene, the physician asks more open-ended questions, and thus the patient feels more comfortable talking about difficult issues. Marcy, let me ask you some questions about your feelings. How are you feeling most days? Okay. I guess. Well, you look a little down. Are you feeling depressed about anything? It's no big deal. There's just a lot of drama at school. Can you tell me about it? Well, I was doing really well in volleyball, and then I just hit a slump. A couple of games, I missed easy shots. I cost us a game, and we might not go to regionals. I overheard a couple of other girls talking, and I think they said I blew the team's chances of going to state. Do you feel responsible for the team not going on? Yes, I feel like I've wasted everyone's time and let everyone down. I played club volleyball all summer. We traveled to tournaments. My parents spent a fortune. It sounds really disappointing. How often are you feeling that way? Is it once a day or once a week? Mm, a lot. Probably at least a few times a week. And when the sad feeling lasts, how long does it usually go on? <sighs> a couple of hours, sometimes even a whole day. Do you get down on yourself or call yourself names? Yes, I feel like I've wasted everyone's time. I just hate myself. And how bad does that feeling get? Do you ever think about hurting yourself or dying? No. Well, are you going to tell my parents? Well, I think if you're feeling that bad, they'd probably want to know. I think they'd want to help. I would never kill myself, but sometimes I think maybe it wouldn't be so bad if I got killed in a car accident or something. Then I wouldn't have to worry about all this. And are you feeling like hurting yourself at all now? No. Well, I'm really glad you shared this with me. What I'd like to do is have your mom come in and we'll tell her together about how you've been feeling. I know things seem really bad right now, but sometimes talking to a therapist can help. My mom's going to think I'm crazy. Well, you're not crazy, and, and I'll help explain it to her. Mm -hmm.